friends, Shawnee here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a cucumber gin and elderflower martini. It's really good. I've had it a couple times before and I really like it, so I'm going to share the recipe with you. So let's start. We have Hendrix gin, which is infused with cucumber. We have elderflower, which is infused with um, citrus blends. We have a simple syrup. This one I made myself with Truvia. We also have lime juice and ice. Other things that we're gonna need are measuring devices, <clears throat> a muddler and a shaker, and of course, cucumber. So we're gonna build our drink now. We're gonna take our shaker and we're gonna add about five cucumber slices. Then we're gonna muddle. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm gonna muddle this about 15 times. I'm mushing, mashing, if you will, the cucumber to release those flavors. And when I'm done, I'm going to add my liquor. I'm gonna have three ounces of Hendrix. I'm gonna add that. And then I'm a tablespoon and a half of elderflower. Tablespoon and a half or three quarter ounce, same thing. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce is one tablespoon. And then a half an ounce, which is one tablespoon of lime juice. I'm gonna add about a cup of ice. Make sure you get your top on securely. Shake it for about 10 seconds. Now what we need is our chilled martini glasses. This yields only one martini. Perfect. And garnish. Looks amazing. Taste test time. Oh yeah. It's fruity, citrusy, cucumbery. It's delicious. So if you like this video, subscribe to my page and I hope you try this. Cheers.